<laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I am joined by Sally from the Summit Historical Society. So perfect segue into what you guys do, speaking of history and not unicorns, but more Summit history. Um, we're excited to learn a little bit more about the Summit Historical Society. I know you guys are really in charge and um, really focus on preserving our rich history, educating uh, about our Summit history. And maybe sometimes interpreting like, why in 1971 did they have this unicorn license? That's worth looking into. Summit, you know, Summit County didn't have that. So <laughs> we'll have to move to another topic on that one. Yeah, totally. And you know, what reminded me, Jess, is last week we were so happy Kirsten came from the town of Dillon to talk about, and her comment was, if you turn to a kid and say, let's go do history, they go, roll their eyes back in their head. <laughs> but if you want to go on a boat tour, whoa, that's fun. So we're trying to make it fun and connect people to the past in a fun way. Yeah, and you brought a, a few things with you, and we'll get into the photos here in a second, but speaking of fun ways to experience history, you brought this bucket of what looks like just a pile of rocks. Yeah. But for kids, they can dig around in this, and they can actually find these really cool gems. So tell me a little bit about what this what the significance of this is. One, one of our board members, Mike Webb, said is really likes to connect with kids. And he, this is to teach them about finding gems or rocks out there in um, what we have coming up on Saturday is a fossil hunt. And so these are available at the Dillon Farmer's Market on Friday. You can take it home and you, you're starting to build that early archaeologist and get them excited about, ooh, what can I find in the sand that maybe I just can't see initially? Yeah, that's really cool. And I mean, I don't know if you made this just super easy for me, but I've already found a few gems. So I know like I'm excited. I might take some of these home, but kids are definitely going to be excited to see some of these because, you know, it's crazy that you can go hike around the county and actually crack uh, geoids yeah. open yeah. and you can find this just in our natural environment. Well, that would be the rich history. But for kids, it's called how, how do you learn early, but how do you learn fun and not just think of, oh, I got to go back to school. Well, speaking of school, want, want, no, just kidding. We're excited to have our kids back in school. That is just around the corner. And you brought some really cool photos. I love historic photos. And these are back to the late 19th century. Yep. And we're looking at a, a picture here of some kids, um, you know, right in front of the schoolhouse. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is pretty freaking cool. And then just a couple others. Tell me a little bit about these while I hold them okay, up. Okay, let me see. So we have Frisco and we have the Dillon Schoolhouse. So these we are blessed in Summit County with having three of the original one-room schoolhouses that were here. So one's still in place in Montezuma, one's in its original location in Frisco, and then of course the one in Dillon was moved up when the dam was built and moved to its current location on Labonte. And three one-room schoolhouses, Jess, in 1900 there were a hundred thousand one-room schoolhouses built by the community to educate our children. That was the importance to having our children learn. But it was the community that was responsible. Today, there are less than 400 that survive in the United States. That They're fading. They're, they're not being preserved. They're, they're falling down or they just don't seem important. So in Summit County, that rich history is three mm -hmm. of the original buildings. And so that's how kids went to school. The one in um, Dillon, they were, was occupied as a one-room schoolhouse till 1905. Too many kids build a new building. That's similar that that uh, building is in Breckenridge, that one that's surviving, which the Breckenridge Grand Vacation um, you know, funded the redoing of that. It's a great place to go visit and see how the schools went from here to the bigger ones. Well, it's really cool to see these throwbacks and just the the character of these kids and you know where we are with our education system today and can people actually go check out these schoolhouses is this part of your tours or their open exhibits um the two of the three are montezuma is using theirs as a community center but the summit historical society is located in the dillon schoolhouse on labonte and frisco right next to their wonderful frisco park theirs is the museum as well so yes you can go back in time the fun thing to say to kids today 
take a picture of that first day of school. You know, they're posting those on Facebook and then ask them, what do you want people to know a hundred years from now about you? That's, that's our um, making history thought. Well, I think that's pretty cool. And it's hard to think about that a yeah. hundred yeah. years from now, but uh, we've seen it before and, and you bring in so many cool things. Well, where can people find more information about your educational courses, your tours and all the fun stuff you guys have going on? Yeah. Check out particularly Saturday's program on our website, summithistorical.org or come by, drop by the museum at 403 Labonte in Dillon, and we'll get you signed up. Saturday is going to be really special with the Bureau of Land Management. We get to go look for fossils and keep them. At They're going to guide us onto their land, and we're going to have hands-on history of millions of years ago. Pretty exciting. Well, that is super exciting. So definitely visit their website, sign up for some of those fun courses. You know, the Summit Historical Society giving people a unique way to enjoy and experience history. Well, thanks so much for coming by, Sally. We always appreciate it. Thanks, Jess. Appreciate it. See well, you next week. Yep, sounds great. Well, much more to come on Summit Sunrise this morning. Stay tuned.